Oh, here we are again now and it's like no time has passed Gazing out upon the sunset as it sinks into the night Many times it seemed as though a given day might be our last Face to face with certain death, it's somehow coming out alright I don't think that we have any cause to lament But there's quite a lot of thrilling intent Thrilling intent Thrilling intent, thrilling intent. You guys leave the salt flats and take another, like, I don't know, 10 ish minutes. You're wandering around and, like, things start to get a little bit nicer. You. You recognize an old road that's been beaten down, snowed over, covered in just ocean grime. It's it's nasty, but there was once a path here. And as you sort of round a corner, you can recognize the approach to a great manor. Immediately on either side are roses. They... It's weird. Despite everything around being dead, these seem relatively well-tended. As if time itself had skipped over them. Or there was a gardener. You, say. <laughs> you begin to you begin to wander towards the old mansion in the distance. You can see Harlock. She doesn't panic. She never panics. However, her breathing has changed slightly. You can tell you're approaching something big. Uh, can I? As we're walking along, I'm just gonna kind of like shift through the crowd so that I end up next to Harlock. So I try and hug me again, Harlock. <laughs> Real cash. Hey, uh, Harlock. Yes. I, are, you, are you are you doing all right? Like, is there anything you want to talk about? Like, is this like I I I, uh, I get the impression that maybe you didn't have the best relationship with this location, much less your family. Um, uh, my family was great. Uh, I lived here for quite some time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you get the roses to stay so nice? Everything we yeah, plant around it's... the bar dies. <laughs> Look, Harlock, I, I know we're just doing this friend thing, like, recently, but, like, as part of that, it comes with the package deal of, like, you can talk to me about anything, anytime. That you know? sounds disgusting. <laughs> I'm sure it does. Okay, how about, how about, let me share this, let me share this in maybe a little more Harlocky way for you, okay? Okay. We can discuss strategies and tactics are At you implying that notice. I don't understand your dialect and that you need to bring it down Listen, to my level? Listen, I am trying to help here, Harlock. <laughs> Sorry. What do you want? What do you? Okay. I overreacted. I get that you're probably just being bristly due to the tension inherent in this situation. And I just want you to know that, again, I'm here for you. Gregor is here for you. Marcus wow. is here for you. And Astra is here for you too. Anyone's like Anyone's behind Astra, pointing to herself. <laughs> Harlock looks over at Indian, who, yeah, had, like, who <laughs> she had the great heart to heart with before they yeah. left. <laughs> like, she kind of just goes, is... "Huh." I don't yeah, know shit that about that though. Through that <laughs> entire thing, Indian's like, "Gregor's here for you." Uh, Marcus is here for you. And Ian's just behind them making like <laughs> motions to herself and being like, fucking, are you kidding me? And, and even look, Astra I... is too. <laughs> and, and look, I know that you probably don't know her that well, but Ian's great. Are and you I'm sure that, joking? Like... <laughs> what? 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 Harlock is just what staring at her about? blankly. <laughs> <laughs> We probably have the highest social link here. Listen, you don't have to share your gardening secrets with us yet, but in time, we'd love for you to help the bar. Just, it's a wave of death around the bar, really. All the plants and animals. <laughs> I'm sure it can be. I, I put my hand on Gregor's shoulder and kind of, like, give him a pat. Uh, and then look at Harlock. He's right, you know. You don't have to share your gardening secrets with us right now, but together, we can make things bloom. Ash, I appreciate what you're trying to do. But it's, Harlock, it's an allegory or a, a, what's that a simile thing you know yeah no i understand, I understand it's like that. a simile it's a metaphor a metaphor thank you you're welcome that's not what's in your a, dumb books wait wait, wait 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 what's a metaphor don't a metaphor is like <laughs> or as a simile 
Oh no, I was making a wordplay joke. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I got it. I got it, Marcus. It's fine. Let's let's just go back here. Whatever. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I appreciate what you're trying to do, but Harlock does not panic. And then she continues forward. <laughs> was she stating that or You should you should notice that it is very strange that Harlock just referred to herself in the third person. She's never done. <laughs> yeah. <that>. yeah. <laughs> anyway, I um I have my hand on on Grigor's shoulder still, and as Marcus is walking past, I, like, snag him by the cape and pull him oh. into a huddle with Gregor. Oh, hey, we huddle him? Y- yeah. Hi. It, okay, so at first it was like I was just gonna go for a hug, but then I was like, wait, shit, I have something I want to talk about, too. Okay. So... Okay, we, we're doing both. This is good. Yeah, this is wonderful. Yeah, okay. Really quick, just gonna appreciate this hug. <laughs> okay. All right, that was... <laughs> <laughs> there's <laughs> Seymour over there that can't well, get by. Like, the, your hug is adorable, hug. and there's like one guard who's completely <laughs> trapped by his pathing. I totally don't notice. <laughs> I totally don't notice. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, all right, okay, guys, look, I, I, more and more, I'm getting the impression that this place is gonna mess with Harlock, like in a real bad way, like in in that kind of like, in the kind of like, in the bad way. I, I look Marcus right in the face. Yeah, I've been getting the same idea. Don't worry. As, as somebody who would rather never return to their childhood home ever again, I think I have some idea, though I don't know her exact circumstance. R- right. Okay, don't, oh, that's right. We're all kind of in that, in that same boat. Like, Gregor, your childhood home is... Destroyed. <clears throat> yeah. Dead. Executed. Right. So what you're saying is... Yeah, unfortunately, right? it is Harlock's childhood home that we have to go to. Right, so, right. Uh, we need to be like or as her rock. Right. We need to be her metaphor. That's a simile. We need to be. We need to be simile to a family. To her. <laughs> <laughs> And Ian, and Ian Harlock and Aster are just walking at the front of the line with like the fucking blankest ass faces you've ever seen on people. We're going to die. As you approach the gates of this mansion, the character in the air changes. Uh, you can feel magic crackling across your tongue. It doesn't feel good. Um, you approach a gate and notice something immediately. Everything in the area is wrapped in an almost ethereal blue flame. The flames themselves hang in the air, occasionally twitching and writhing, but only out of the corners of your eyes. As you try to focus in on it, you you start to get a headache. Hmm. As if drawn by the flames, gigantic creatures lazily float (laughs) through the air. What? (laughs) Large, just grotesque orbs of flesh that... That just hang in space, as if they were pulled in by that blue light. Now see, this uh, reminds me more of the bar. You watch this great burning house, and just suddenly it starts to click why Harlock didn't really want to come back to this place, and maybe why a monster like this would be drawn to such a place. It's clearly a location of great, cursed as hell energy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. All the guards around you begin to sort of quake in fear. The elms seem fine, though. It just looks okay. like magic to me. Yeah, I don't like this one bit. Yeah, that's one way I, okay, to look at it. So, magic, magic people and Harlock. Mm-hmm. Assessments? Why did you what, exclude what? me? Well, because uh, you, you, you have a different approach to magic than to like than Marcus and Indian do. It's still magic. You okay? Listen, listen. I think what you do is more like science. Okay. Where I come from, they're one and the same. You know what? Fine. Magic people. What's 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 your take on this? What are we working with? I don't really know, Ash. Why don't you just ask me? It's my house. I <laughs> wait. Is this? I I assume this is. It's not any different than last time I left it, right? Yeah, it's completely the same. It's exactly the Our same. Luck, I used to Indian? live here. Can you please explain what is happening here so that we don't accidentally break some sort of rule and fuck everything up? Indian's just <laughs> pointing at uh Indian's pointing at a very very sharp rock that appears to be burning right next to the gate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I've noticed that. And he continues pointing fire. at the rock. 
Yes, Inian, I put her hand down. <laughs> you take a closer look at the rock. You notice, sort of next to the rock, stuck in the ground, perpetually burning, seems to be a human hand. Mm. Okay, next to it as in it's fused with it? Or? No, it's fallen to the ground and is consistently burning on the ground. The kind of like somebody used the, ja- somebody used the jagged rock to bash their arm off. Kind of like somebody used a jagged Wait, rock whoa, to... I, I whip around <laughs> to Harlock! <laughs> what? The... Okay, Harlock, whoa. what is up with your house? <laughs> it's on It's on it... magic fire a little bit, and I don't... Harlock. Is that good? That bad? It's alchemic fire. It won't burn away, so we're safe to go inside. Harlock! Oh. I, gra- I grab her by, by the shoulders. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, look! Are you, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> Harlock. That's your arm on the ground right there. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're right, but. Oh. <laughs> oh no! I can see why you left. No, I, I, I've been back plenty of times since that happened. <laughs> Harlock, do you do you need a hug? No, I didn't enjoy it the first time. I don't know why I'd like it anymore this time. Can I hug someone? I need a hug. Get in here. <laughs> I, I feel like I'd be monopolizing the hugs if I... You're right, let's make it a group hug. I pull right, Gregor, right, right, right. Lyra, and Inian into the hug as well. Yeah, hey, thank you. I'm glad I'm glad that you're so moved by this, but... <laughs> I'm not moved. It's not the right word. No, I'm not moved at all. I'm just confused. No, to tell you the truth, I'm a little moved too. Did you bash the arm off yourself with no assistance? Oh well, yeah, I didn't really have an option. It was on fire. Hardcore. Oh. Extremely hardcore. You did that on purpose, then. <laughs> yeah, um, I can explain better inside, probably, but... Well, well you, let's go inside. It begins to progress. You bashed it off because it was on fire forever. Yeah, alchemic fire doesn't burn out, and it doesn't need fuel, it just kind of goes... So we should really so, not touch this even more than normal fire. So it, it does it spread? Not really, especially wait, in this wait. place where wait, time wait. stands sort of still. Wait, wait, why does time stand still? Well, yeah, wait. What sort of nutty shit is that? I'm no, I'm no magic man, but as a mysterious man. You're asking a lot of questions. <laughs> Before Harlock answers, can I take a guess? I like this. I like this part. This is my favorite part of whenever we run into something. Can I make yeah. a guess? Who are you asking <laughs> We're me? We're all waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, okay, here's my guess. So, Harlock, you have let slip a couple times that maybe you did something that wasn't super, like, uh, above board, alchemically, magically. Uh, I think it went super wrong. I think it exploded in your face, literally. I think that the disturbance caused by that caused everything, like, time to get, like, you know, like you dented it. Or something. And then it caught fire. I mean, you're probably right, but you shouldn't just say it. <laughs> That's the fun part of finding this magic shit. Being like, everybody tosses their guess in. Oh, uh, yes, Ooh. the fun part of the day that ruined my life. I am so sorry. I, I think... I'm just kidding. I don't care. That it was an accident that happened, and accidents happen, and you've learned and grown from it. It was my only accident. Yes. Um, so I'm right. Yeah, you're not too far off. <laughs> That's okay, Marcus. It's your turn. About the gist of it. Okay, exactly. Like, what sort of temporal stuff is at play here? Because I have never seen anything like. No, 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 no. We no, didn't no, get to not, ask not for questions. Question. It's oh. for it's you have for to like your guess. Oh. Keep in mind, oh. I am already oh, correct. Making a game out of my trauma. <laughs> okay. Okay. So my guess is that um, hmm, one day. You were using your special alchemical oven to cook yourself a pizza, right? <laughs> as, do, as one does. Tragedy strikes. <laughs> you fall asleep, it being a cozy summer day like it sometimes is. House starts to burn down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look around. You, uh, you, you time panic. locked, right? You go ahead and decide to use a time lock, which is, of course, a warlock, special in, uh, a warlock specializing in time magic. What? And, uh... <laughs> Bingo, bango, bongo, everything's fine. Except not really. Good guess. I'd like to change my answer to that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but for real, Harlock, this... I'm really sorry. Like, damn. 
Yeah, this happens. is a lot. I'm so sorry. Yeah, oh. I mean, not all of us are so lucky that we succeed when we make mistakes. Sometimes we ruin everything. Ooh. Hmm. Sometimes you mess up, then, ooh, sometimes other people make mistakes for you, and then you get to be the arbiter of retribution, making sure to hit home how bad their mistakes were. That's that's yeah, the nice that's the thanks, nice alternative. Indian. I appreciate what? it. Thanks, Indian. Uh, what? I it's finally good. understand why you wanted that business title now. The arbiter of retribution. Indian cracks or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Anyway, for serious now. What should we look out for, Harlock? And were you? Did the pizzas turn into those giant floating blob things? <laughs> So oh, we both he, agree he, that pizzas stand in for homunculus, right? Like, we're calling them pizzas now. How dare now. you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've what? never messed up making a homunculus. I'm perfect in every way. <laughs> yeah, he's exactly what I meant for him to be. He's just useless. <laughs> <laughs> I point at the floaty thing. What, should we, is it okay to okay. touch those? No, that's fine. These things are fine. Come on, Indian drags yeah. everybody forward. Look, these, these... These things are completely harmless unless they get mad at you. Then they're, yeah, they're... very harmful. What are they even? They're called sifters. They're fine. <laughs> yeah, no, they're they're honestly they're honestly harmless. They've lived here for as long as I did. Yeah. They're like um they get I think they get rid of curses or they gather curses up. I don't know. <laughs> um, like a moth to fire. Um, oh, I'm... okay. So they're just uh... so they're just like big dudes. They're they're, they're very to... they're very powerful entities, just to especially warm. when they can feed off of something for eternity. Something like yes, this. That's a good they're... point. What's the word? Vacuous. Something like yeah. a time locked, eternally burning mansion. <laughs> yes. So if I touch eternally burning time-locked alchemical fire, will it actually catch me on alchemical fire? Eternally. It'll hurt, but it shouldn't spread. Oh, that's good. Wait, it'll even hurt Marcus, even though he's fireproof? Oh, yeah. yeah it's I'm, not hellfire. <laughs> mm. I mean, most fire isn't, but I'm generally fine with most fire. Uh, it's Most fire is related to hellfire. This is... Yeah, most more fire is related. like a cousin of hellfire. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah, I could, yeah. if I could explain... A little bit more of what happened here without going into too much detail. The same tear that functions inside of Crowhenge and is all over Free Arc, a small one was opened here and it was my fault. Ah. Oh, so this is like Crowhenge Manor, the summer home of evil. Sure. Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay if I open the door? I don't want to like intrude. Yeah, but please do. I Gregor think so. knocks. Yeah, yeah nobody's did. nobody's home. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, so I don't need to take for, my shoes off. I will say you should be careful. There might be some things that have gotten out of the old lab. <sighs> no, like this is wait a like this home. Hold up, Indian. Hmm? Did this rug get out of the old lab? <laughs> <laughs> all right uh harlock what do you think our best bet is here should we all stick together to hunt the steward or should we split up we should stick together without okay. a doubt i think harlock should go first seeing as we are more likely to fall into traps than she is true because she probably um, set them do i notice that <laughs> any traps that i would have left behind were probably already set when the giant monster walked in Ooh, uh Yes, actually. A few of the traps have gone off inside. Well, then, it might be a good idea to just not walk into where there are traps, because that's probably not where the monster went. That's a that little is... hunter's guild trick for you. That is a good point. As you as you walk inside and cross the threshold, you feel deathly cold, like, mm. like the fire is somehow sapping away heat. Its slight crackle almost covers up the noise of something, but by the time you realize that it's something different, it's a little too late. I, gra I, I mm. grab Marcus. I feel nostalgic for the campfire back home. It's the cold fire. That's not right. That, I thought that was one of a kind. Are you telling me that we weren't originators? We really no. were playing with fire. That, this is how bad that, it could get. Less, that's the less important part of what I was trying to remember. <laughs> As you, uh, as you cross the threshold and go in, you realize that there's been almost a ringing sound in your ears for a little bit. It's been growing more and more, and it, it seems to set and lock in. And suddenly, thunk, 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 mm. the guards behind you fall to the ground. Uh... 
Including uh, Seymour. You look up, and you see a face grinning at you from the other side of the doorway. Elongated and horrifying, warped by so much magic you can barely recognize it as human anymore. It grins as the light grows in your eyes, and you too fall into oh, a deep slumber. Holy crap! What the fuck? That's oh horrifying. my gosh! You hit the dirt... And hazy visions swim Ugh. through your eyes. You feel the creature moving over and past you. It doesn't mm. seem to be that interested I in killing like you. I um, like this. It, you're struggling to stay awake, but it just moves past, kind of like it steps on a guard here or there. Doesn't seem to kill him. You get kicked a little bit. Your vision fading in and out as it approaches the front of the manor. And Harlock, as it approaches you, suddenly adrenaline fires through your body, and you jump up, your consciousness quickly resuming. Well. <laughs> you stand face to face with this thing that's completely- It's as shocked as you are, actually. <laughs> it looks at- you're literally the only one that's saved, by the way. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Harlock kind of looks behind it and is like, anybody else? No? Nobody stands. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I've learned not to rely on others. <laughs> no! 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 